up y'all it's your girl chelsea nicole and i'm back with another episode of facts only or whatever my hair acting kind of crazy so i'm gonna just fluff my hair until people come in fluff my hair until people come in It's my Friday, so I'm in a good mood. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> oh, Monday night is Friday night for yours truly, so I'm always going to be in great spirits on a Monday night because it's my Friday. Like, <laughs> yes, 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 here I am back again for another episode of facts only like i said today's episode is the aggie irritable episode because i got put in my place earlier this week yesterday is the exact date on it yesterday i got put in my place um i'm talking on the phone low-key going back and forth with somebody um i'm a gemini I enjoy a good argument, a good hearty debate. Like, let's do it. Oh, thank you. My hair is magnificent. Thank you. That's a wonderful word for it. I like that. I like that. I like that. So, I'm on the phone and I'm on shift. So, I'm sitting in front of my computer supposed to be working but calls are slow so you know i be having time to be on the phone so i'm talking on the phone with somebody that i've known for a long time and i'm getting aggy like i'm getting irritated like that shit is pissing me off the whole conversation is low-key pissing me off and like my mom hears me and she hears like every other word i'm saying fuck this fuck that that's fucking stupid like you get on my nerves like ray tay tay right so I'm going back and forth with this individual and she goes like, yo, like, at what point do you hang up though? <laughs> like, at what point are you like so tired of F this, F that, that you just hang up the phone with this individual? Like, why are you still on the phone with this person? Like, why are y'all, like, this is not even a conversation at this point, like, he just gonna let you talk to him like that and i'm just like to be honest when i'm irritated that's that's how i go off i can't front i can't front i'm not gonna lie um yes afro thunder that is me <laughs> i'm here you see it right you see, you see me you see me with the fro i'm trying i'm trying the twist out didn't really do exactly what I wanted it to do. I think I waited too long to take my twist out. Not even gonna lie. I took the twist out and then I went in the shower though. But I covered my hair when I went in the shower. I don't be knowing. I don't. It look all right. It's, it's doing a thing. It'll be all right. But all right. I ain't not. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. But... Again, having a conversation, what does it say? Okay, so I don't even let people drain my energy. I'll hang up or walk off instantly without warning. Like, I hear you and I feel you wholeheartedly because I be ready to just tell people how irritating they are. Like, can't you hear how irritated I am by what you're saying? Like, this, like, why would you want to evoke such energy out of a person like why are you doing that why are you sound so stupid like why i be trying to understand and i guess like that's not my battle to fight i'm trying to learn it it's hard though like <laughs> i need all the answers i've never not liked no i've never liked not knowing the answer i need reasons make it make sense i need the math to be mathing because it's just not use context clues. <laughs> you know, my nerves. It's cute as fuck though. The color is everything. Giving me foxy brown. Yes, girl. I'm trying to come through. I'm trying to be cute. 
Niggas is turning 30. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I look nothing more than 22 out this hole. Listen, <laughs> forever young out this hole. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing. Hey, stop like don't hype me up i'm trying to talk about some real shit okay so <laughs> honestly so like as soon as my mom said that i was just like oh you know what that's facts like why am i even still talking to this person like and then she was just like all right so hang up and i was like i said i was gonna hang up three three hours ago but you ain't hang up <laughs> like so you was hanging up are you hanging up the conversation's done. You stopped talking to me, but you didn't hang up yet. Like, what's the issue? Just, it really is that easy, but niggas me making shit harder than it needs to be, honestly. I've been, like, stuck in this little, like, box where, like, on one hand, I'm like, but I don't want to be mean. But on the other hand, I'm cussing you the fuck out. So, like, either way, I'm being mean. Like, wasn't nothing nice about the conversation. So, the nicer version would have been just to hang up and end the conversation. No? Like, why am I... What are we... We not even getting nowhere. I'm not learning nothing from this conversation. Except for the fact that you're irritating the fuck out of me. So, like, why are we even... Why are we doing this? Like, why, why, why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Please stop. Stop talking to me. Have to learn, like, who can have access to you, period. Like, it doesn't matter if you've known them for a long time. It doesn't matter that you love them doesn't matter that you had love for them in the past doesn't matter that they were there for you when time or whatever the case may be if that if that connection has expired if that's no longer valid if they are irritating you to the point where you don't even want to be on the phone with them and it's just draining your energy or it's putting you into some sort of like no like no and I'm only saying it because, like, I'm going through it, too. Like, I'm not going to tell you some shit that I, you know, I haven't experienced myself type shit. Like, nah. My mother and my grandmother was over there listening to me like, girl, <laughs> hang up. <laughs> Done the conversation. Like, whatever is making you feel like that. Whatever is making you react like that. Whatever. Like, because when I tell you, it was not popping. Like, I'm not going to lie. And it had been going on for, like, a good 15 minutes. And I was just like, yo, like, you're irritating. And I kept saying that, like, yo, you're irritating me. Like, you're irritating the fuck out of me. Like, what are you talking about? Like, that doesn't make no sense. Like, and then, like, what really irritates me is when people like to create their own reality out of, like, what it is that I'm saying. A lot of people think that I'm being mysterious in my speech or I'm being, like, 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 I'm trying to finesse them somehow with what I'm saying. Like, nah. I might be intentional, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I, I'm very strategic. I am strategic. But not to the point that I'm creating a whole alternate reality. Like, nah. I'll say some shit that you might have to think on or ponder on or really take in and whatever but not to the point where you create in a whole parallel universe for your damn self like no no i'm not that like i'm deep but a nigga not that deep like he <laughs> just don't kill yourself trying to create a reality that is not real like i don't that is so frustrating to me because now I got to talk you off a cliff that you built and you trying to jump off. Like, nah, that don't got nothing to do with me because I didn't say none of that. I didn't say any of that. And a lot of people be like, well, I'm not a mind reader and I can only go off of what you saying and versus what you not saying and that. 
you gotta recognize, like, realize, understand, meditate on the fact that not everything that you think is what it is. Like, not every thought that you have run across your mind is facts. Just because you thought it, like, because it's a thought, it is a possibility. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say you crazy for thinking whatever it is that you're thinking. But once reality starts kicking in and setting in or whatever the case may be, you got to calm the fuck down. You got to calm down. And I don't know if that's for like overthinkers or people with anxiety or people with post-traumatic stress disorder or whatever it is. Like, I don't know who that message is for, but baby, calm the heck down. Like, you don't have to be so irritating. Like, but again, you got to be mindful of who disturbs your peace. You got to be mindful of who disturbs their peace. And I think because I care for certain people or because I've known them for a long time or because like um, I'm thinking of times where the conversation has been great and blah, 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 blah. Like I'll give them a pass with like, all right, we could talk about this or this might be upsetting me because of this, then the third and might not have nothing to do with you. Nah, if you're irritating my peace, to the point where somebody got to come around the corner from the next room and tell me that I need to end the conversation with you. Bruh. It might not be up. <laughs> like, it might not... We might not have nothing else to talk about. We might not have not a damn thing left to talk about because... Why? And then, all right, so I did some research too, right? So I pulled it up on Google and I'm just like, why am I so irritable? <laughs> like, is it me? Like, I had to, I had to check in on myself. Like, is it me that's just wild irritable for no ass reason? Like, am I just coming at niggas' heads just because? Like, you got to reflect and look within, make sure, you know, your shit is in order, whatever the case may be. But like, nah, some people really evoke some certain type of emotions. And I'm walking into a period in my life where I can't be around everybody that I used to be around. I can't have people around who I used to have around just because they hold a certain you know, like they've been around that long type shit. Like just because you've been around don't mean you got to stay around. as mean as that may sound like not everybody needs to come along for the ride like you're gonna have to uber lift your way to the destination because ain't no more room ain't no more room and that's fine that's fine but that being aggy shit, like, that's not me. Like, that's not even in my personality. I don't like being aggy. And, like, certain people, and it's the people that make me aggy who like to call me aggy. Like, nah, you piss me off. <laughs> like, you irritate me. So, if every time you come around me, I'm aggy, it's you. Like, if every time we have a conversation, I have an attitude, it's you. Like, there's something about you and your spirit and your energy that is literally pissing me the fuck off. Leave me alone. Stop talking to me. But I'll take responsibility for that and, like, you know, remove myself because that's necessary. I don't always do that. Like, I make myself available because sometimes people really be going through shit and I be trying to call myself some type of therapist, healer, some type of psychologist like I don't even know what the fuck I be doing well who I think I am but I don't be having the emotional capacity to be taking on everybody trials and tribulations and everybody fuck the best energy like granted I can stand tall on my own 10 toes down and all that other shit like granted I can handle myself when it comes to other energies but I'm learning and I'm recognizing the fact that 
some people just disturb your peace and it's not worth it. No matter what it is that you might be able to help them with, sometimes that's not your battle to fight. It's really not. Because there's no reason why you have to make me aggy in order for me to help you heal whatever it is that you got going on. Like, that's crazy. That's wild. The reason why the boosters on the rockets that go out of space do not go with the rocket is because they were only meant to go a certain distance. Once they reach the altitude they were designed to go, they fall off. Listen here, Carlos. Snap! snap because i'm telling you they're they're boosting me to realizing <laughs> like y'all need to fall like off like y'all need to go y'all need to go y'all need to come off of me drop off of me like it was nice while it lasted and that's perfectly fine but you know after after you reach a certain plateau after you reach a certain level like all right it was it was it was good while it lasted but now every time you come around anytime you call my phone anytime you text me my face is screwed up i have an attitude why because you've done your part and i'm not seeing what it what else it is that i need from you or you need from me that sounds really messed up i know it does it might hurt a little a couple of feelings and it's not like I'm on here like saying names or anything like that. And it's not that many people in my life who I have to really like cut off or anything like that. So I don't want anybody to get any feelings about it. But if a certain person, a certain group, a certain situation really disturbs your peace to the fact that you are aggravated, aka aggy, agitated, irritable unpleasant like if you feel any of those types of feelings around anybody like that's not who you need to be around that's a person you might need to let go of and that's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with that a lot of people don't like letting go of people just because oh that's my mom oh that's my cousin oh that's my sister oh that's my best friend since the sandbox oh that you know what i'm saying like no, some people have to go. Some people have to go. And if they're irritating you, irritating. When I say, I was literally like, bro, you're irritating me. You are irritating me. Like you, like they, like I could feel it. Like nothing is gonna change about the situation. Like we're, we're not getting anywhere. You're clearly not listening and then like you're twisting my words and then you already feel how you feel about the situation and you're not like showing any signs of like being open-minded about anything like you're just set in your way and it's this kind of thing then why are we talking about it <laughs> like what is this? why is the discussion necessary like why why do you need to irritate me to get your point across you can fuck off <laughs> you can get off my phone you can stop talking to me and like I said, I need to take more accountability for that too because like I can, I can hang up. I, I can block. I can delete. I can ignore. I can decline. Like those are my superpowers. <laughs> like I don't have to put up with certain shit. And I'm trying to figure out what is the reason behind holding on. Like, um, y'all listen. I be trying to drink my water and mind my business, okay? I don't got no time. I don't have no time. I don't have no interest. <laughs> Zero interest in, like, being caught up in connections and relationships that don't do nothing for me. <laughs> like, for what? Why are we doing this? Like, why are we talking? Why are we talking? Why are we bothering with each other? I don't got no kids. I'm not married yet. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there is, there are very little people who I am obligated to. Very little. 
very, very little. So like, I don't owe you a response. I don't owe you an acceptance of your call. Like I don't owe you a conversation. I don't owe you my energy. You gotta like know, know your worth in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like who is worth your energy? Who is worth your time? Who is worth your conversation? Who is worth your presence? Who is worth that delete? Who is worth that block? Because some people, that's all they deserve from you is a block and delete. And that's fine. Because like I said, there's no reason why another human being should be irritating you to the point where like you're wild angry. And I, I'm not going to say like the person was making me angry because that person really knows how to like push my buttons. And I feel like they be doing it on purpose. But even still, why would you want to do that to somebody that you care for? That's dumb. Like irritating people on purpose. Like that's dumb. Not even on like no cute, I'm being annoying just to fake piss you off and we about to key key after this and lay up. Like nah, like you really trying to piss me the fuck off and I really want to bang now. <laughs> I really want to fight. You're, you're pissing me off. I want to fight. No, that doesn't make any sense. That's, that's not love. Especially if it's like all the time. It's dumb. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Not everybody is worth it. Not everybody's worth your time. Not everybody's worth your conversation. Not everybody is worth you being irritated. All that energy. Cause when I tell you, when I get irritated, like my my the volume on my voice just go up a bit. And I'm already loud. So it's just like I be trying to be quiet. Because I know there's like other people listening and whatever. Like everybody doing their own thing in the house. Everybody watching their own shows and whatever the case may be. So I'll be trying not to be loud. But when I'm angry, I'm loud. <laughs> when I'm angry, I'm loud. Like my voice just, the volume just increases. Because you're pissing me the fuck off. And clearly when I'm saying it in like a calm, low voice, you're not hearing me. So let me turn this shit the fuck up. Because clearly you ain't hear me the first time when I said you're fucking aggravating me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be mad. Not even real mad, because I don't stay mad at nothing, but it's just be like, yo, you're irritating. You're irritating. You're literally irritating the fuck out of me. <laughs> you're irritating. I'm Aggie. It's like, no, I don't like when people talk to me crazy. I don't like when people assume stuff about me. I don't like when people... Alright, so what really be irritating is people who know me who assume that I've done or said some shit that's outside of my character. Like some shit like, you know good and damn well I wouldn't do some shit like that. So why are we even having this conversation? Why would you even ask me if I said that? Why would you even ask me if I did that? Why would you even, why would you do that? Now I got to cut you off because clearly you don't know me. Yo, what up, Ryan? Now my hair look crazy. I'm over here playing with it, picking at it. Looking like a mad person. It's alright though. It'll fall into place at some point. Like, why is it? Why is it? It make no damn sense. Like, anywho, I just. <sighs> it's a learning process. Like I said, facts only is just a video vlog. Of me going live, talking about shit that I'm going through in my life, talking about shit that, you know, sits on my chest or in my heart or whatever the case may be. Like, I don't like being irritated. I don't like being irritated. Don't lie on me. Don't assume dumb ass shit about me. Don't put words in my mouth. Don't assume don't keep saying that I'm doing some shit. Like, just don't irritate me. Don't get on my nerves. <laughs> That's all I ask. Like, don't get on my nerves. And if you see that you're getting on my nerves, like, bruh. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning how to cut people off. That's getting on my nerves. Like, 
I'm, I'm, I have to learn this lesson because it has not been an easy road. It really hasn't <laughs> at all. It has not been an easy road. I really let people get under my skin because I've been really trying to figure out where the fuck you got the nerve to piss me off at. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> like, why, why would you do that? Why would you even want to do that? I really need to stop asking these people these foo foo questions because they don't even know. They they don't know, but I'll be quick to try and tell them, motherfucker. Stop playing with me. Don't irritate me. Don't irritate me. Do not. If somebody's constantly irritating you and not on like a playful way, like like I said before, if it's not like tee hee. Like, on some real jokey, jokey, we just playing, whatever type stuff. Then cool. Like, I could take a joke. And by a joke, I don't mean, hey, ugly. I don't like that shit. That's irritating to me, too. That's irritating as fuck. Flirting with me is not calling me ugly. Your mama. Now what? And her mama, too. Stop playing with me. Don't call me ugly. What's wrong with you? That's not that's not funny to you. Like that's not a joke. That's not flirting. None of that. Stop playing with me. Don't call me ugly. You can call me big head. Whatever. My head is big. And what's next? Don't call me ugly. Don't call me punk. Don't call me none of that. That's irritating. But everybody's different. So Maybe your last shorty or your current shorty lets you call her ugly and punk and big head and all that other boohoo. That's perfectly fine. But to each their own. And this one, no, I don't play those types of games. I don't like it. It's not funny to me. It's not. Fight me. <laughs> what you gonna do? No, but for real. I appreciate y'all for coming on here. Saying what up, You're giving me my little tips and pointers, telling me, you know, just hang up on niggas, <laughs> let go of niggas, cut people off. I don't have to deal with them no more. Um, I be feeling like I need to maintain the original, you know, vibe that I introduce to people. I like to maintain my vibe. I came into your life for a reason. Um, it, but I have to also recognize that not every reason is a lasting season, if that makes sense. So it's not like that reason could just be in and out and I should be okay with that. I don't have to have like a long lasting effect on that person. Like my in and out could be long lasting, but that doesn't mean that I have to constantly be there to like check in and make sure that the progress is going here and there and whatever. That's not my responsibility. That's not my place. <laughs> like, that is not for me to have to deal with. Like I played my part. You played your part. And we could part. Like, and that should be fine. I feel like a lot of people be thinking like they should have some sort of holds on you. Not me. Like just in general. I'm not just talking about me and my situation, but I'm just saying. Like just because you had a connection with a person doesn't mean that you got to hang on to that person. Like you can let them go. Codependency is a real life thing. If you can't let a person go, like and I don't understand, like, if if it's clear that every time you speak to a person, they're aggy, they're irritated, like, they're upset every time, like, they got an attitude every time y'all talk, it might be time for y'all to stop talking. It might be about that time for y'all to, you know, cut your losses call a spade a spade and say that it's time for y'all to move on because there's no reason why you need to hang on to any type of relationship that's causing you grief and anguish. Like, <laughs> what the, why are we still talking? Why are we, what, what are we here for? What, share. Like, what, do, what are we getting at? Be grateful for the time that was shared. 
be grateful for whatever it is that y'all went through. Be grateful for whatever it is that y'all learned while in that situation, while in that atmosphere, and move the fuck on. Because when I tell you I'm tired of being aggravated with people, I'm tired. I don't like being aggravated. <laughs> I really don't like being aggravated. I really don't like being irritated. And like, I would hope that I could say no one does. But some people, you know, misery love company. So some people really do like to be kind of on the perturbed side. But nah, like overall, like I'm, I'm a happy go lucky person. I like to have fun. I like to laugh. I like to kiki. I like to BS. I, I like to enjoy myself. Was good with a good time. You feel me? But if if people not showing you a good time no more, it might be that time to exit. Find the party elsewhere. And that should be fine. That should be okay. You should be all right with that. You should be safe and content. <laughs> like, you really should. There is nothing wrong with stepping away from somebody who no longer serves a particular purpose in your life. If they're irritating you, if they're upsetting you, if they're draining you of happy-go-lucky type energy, if they are pissing you off, if they are the rain on your parade, like all of that. All of that. You have to be really mindful of who's around you and what type of energy they bring around you because if it's not happiness, if it's not peace, if it's not joy, if it's not um, comfort, if it's not support, if it's not like all the positives, all the bright and warm adjectives to some shit. Like if it's, if it's not good, then it need to get gone, period. They need to go. They need to kindly head out because for what? What's the reason? What is the reason for them being there? What's their purpose? What purpose do they serve if they're not aiding to your happiness, aiding to your growth? What What do you even need with them? Real shit. Like, think about that. <laughs> like if you're on the fence about a relationship a friendship whatever platonic romantic familial any of those things if you're on the fence about any of your relationships any of your connections whatever you want to call them if you're on the fence about any of them and you got to do pros and cons if that person is irritating you if that person is draining you if you feel tired if you feel agitated if you feel aggy if you feel irritable after speaking with an individual it might be time for that person to no longer have access to you as sad as that might be you're allowed to grow up you're allowed to grow out and outgrow <laughs> other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to stay stuck. You do not have to stay stuck to one group of friends, one partner that you had, one type of individual that you used to date. You don't have to stay put. You don't. Growth, expansion, learning. Upgrading, elevating, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? If anybody's keeping you back from any of that good, good shit, they need to go. They need to go. <laughs> Point blank period. Like having that conversation yesterday and the individual, like I know the individual didn't necessarily mean to make me irritated but when I was sharing that I was irritated, like, they didn't, they didn't care. They didn't care that I was irritated. They didn't care. They just kept going with the same shit. And then, like, 
oh, it ain't about you. It, I mean, even if the whole situation is not about me, the fact that I'm irritated should like alarm you. <laughs> like That should matter to you. And the fact that it did not matter, even more of a reason for me to be like, you know what? I need to create a stronger boundary here. I need to head out. Like, I can't, like, high and by, if that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I be wanting to be mean, but then I don't want to be mean. Like, that's the problem. That is the problem. That is a that inner battle between the twins. I be wanting to be real mean. And then on the other hand, I don't want to be mean. Like, I be sitting there in my head like, girl, snap off and hang up and block this nigga and never talk to them ever again. And then on the other hand, I be like, but no, nah, like, you know... <laughs> y'all be having deep conversations when they not irritating you like no bruh there's literally like no balance like barely any balance if there's no balance in the situation if there's no balance in the relationship let it go let that shit go because for what there's no balance there's no like real reciprocity there's like no you know what I'm saying like give and take just irritation. Every time I talk to you, I'm irritated. That's not good. That's not good. If people are irritating you, you need to step away. And that is really just... <laughs> that, like, that's my point for this whole episode. If they're irritating you, let it go. If they pissed you off, let it go. If they're not doing right by you, let it go. If more of the if most of your conversations are like arguments rather than conversations or like you got an attitude or y'all speaking roughly to each other or whatever, like let, let it go. Let it go. It's not worth it. Life is too short. I know that's really like cliche to say, but it really is. Even though we've been living it for however long we've been living it. Mm, it could be longer. I'm just saying. Don't shorten it with a heart attack or high blood pressure or whatever the fuck because somebody's irritating the fuck out of you. No, it's not worth it. Be happy. Live in light and peace and love and all, all that happy go lucky shit. Be happy. Don't let nobody piss you off. Don't let nobody irritate you. My hair still look crazy. I don't care. It'll be alright. But yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for y'all who came in here and gave me y'all little tidbits. Y'all little smiley faces. Y'all heart eyes. Shout outs to y'all in the 100s. And, you know, giving me my little words of advice. Those gems that I be needing. They're really necessary because... I'm not the only one. <laughs> like, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way that I'm the only one. And I know I'm not the only one. So that's why I come on here to talk to things. Because somebody out there is getting irritated by somebody. And you need to hear this. So if you scroll past this or you shared this or you liked it or whatever the case may be. Like. Share with another person because it's necessary. Glad to see you doing your talks. Thank you, my love. I'm back. I'm actually a lot more consistent than I was before. I'm doing it every Monday after I get out of work. Um, Monday is my Friday, so um, I'm always excited to do it on Monday night because Tuesday and Wednesday is my Saturday, Sunday, so... I'll be back next Monday. Um, if y'all have like different topics that y'all want to talk about, y'all can let me know. Like the facts only page. I'd appreciate that. Share it. Um, I got my YouTube channel as well. So y'all can follow the YouTube, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. These same videos will be on the facts only page on Facebook. And they'll also be on the YouTube channel. So be on the lookout for the link as I put it up and all that great stuff. But 
I have things to do. I mean, this was the main thing that I was doing, but still, you know, it's not as busy as it was the other night. What was I talking about the other night? The talking stage. Shout out to y'all who was here last week to talk about like the talking communication stage and the dating scene and all that other stuff. That was a good topic that we went over. Um, but I really wanted to talk about being agitated and irritated too when, when dating and when not dating. Like, just all in one. Like, people be irritating the fuck out of me. Can't front. Um, it's not all sunshine, smiley faces, and rainbows with me. I get angry too. I'm human. It's only right. I can't wait to get my hair braided again. Y'all don't even know. It's off topic, but I've been playing and messing with my hair this whole time. And it really did not do what I wanted it to do. But it'll be alright. It'll cooperate at some point. But not today, it looks like. Alright, y'all. So, next Monday, I'll be back. Maybe I'll tell y'all what I'm talking about ahead of time. So, y'all could like, think about whatever y'all want to think about. Get y'all points in order. If that's what y'all want to do. I don't really care if that's what y'all want to do. Maybe... Say, so, let me stop saying I don't care before y'all really believe me. I fuck with y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next Monday to talk about some other stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna start doing a Wednesday episode. Like so, so Monday night. That's like when I'm getting off of work, and then Wednesday night because the next day I'm back at work type of thing and Wednesday is hump day and that's my favorite day of the week so I'm thinking about <laughs> I'm thinking about doing it on Wednesday Monday and Wednesday though I'm not gonna take away my Monday episode but I'm thinking about doing Monday and Wednesday so I'll let y'all know if I'm feeling it at some point I'll start going live on YouTube they be acting up they be trying to make it seem like I can't do it so we'll see about that but I will see y'all next week. Thank you for watching. It's girl Chelsea Nicole. And this has been Facts Only. Y'all have a good night. Be safe. And, you know, don't, don't catch COVID. I don't know. What do people be saying anyway? Anyway, bye. Good night.